Cosmic map has been updated with coordinates to the Venus sector. So, uh, back on the world map, and uh, now I'd like to think that we have a little bit more, uh, what the heck, it's the smuggler. Now, what is an upstanding citizen such as yourself doing way out here in no man's land? Uh, do you need any work done? Oh, sure. Glad to hear it, partner. Watch your back now. Planets are blue, moons are green. Moons are green? That's weird. You'd think moons would just be, like, now, white. Okay, looks like he's not going to actually help us until we uh, do his mission for him. Destroy Dr. Nefarious's ships. Sensors detect security satellites with hollow net relays. They must be destroyed in order to clear the sector of fighter patrols. That's a cool design for a ship. I like how it kind of resembles Dr. Nefarious. Uh. Okay, well, there's no way we're actually going to be able to get through that shield unless we kill all these ships, so... Here we go. So yeah, as you can see, uh... I said this before, and I'll say it again. This is nowhere near as frustrating as going commando because you are only on a you are you are on a single layer, and so are the enemies. So you don't actually have to worry about aiming. Uh, all you have to worry about is aiming just dead ahead instead of going commando, where you have to worry about aiming in 360 degrees, and it's awful. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh, nice. I like that it just gives us the uh, the reward right away, too. Okay, um... God, where do I... New sector unlocked. Let's actually look at the map. Ooh, nice. There's actually a fast travel system. Cool. Oh, nice. That is really cool. Um... Three of six zoning. It even tells you the amount of zoning you've gotten. That's actually really handy. Nice. Okay. Uh, Zolar Forest. We've already done that. Phalanx, but it even tells you if there's a zoning on some place. That's really cool. Sector entrance. Sector entrance. Okay. Interesting. Okay, sure, let's, uh... So, this blue is the planet that we already went to, so we don't really need to go there. Out here is something, though. Uh, don't believe there's any way to actually activate ship thrusters at all. Oh, there is a quick select, quick select though, so that's cool. Nice. <laughs> don't blow up the smuggler. Oh, that's... <laughs> that smuggler had a makeover, never mind. Meaning you ran out of gas. It sounds smarter the way I say it. If you know of anyone equipped with a ship tether, can you send them my way? Uh, sure. Not really sure if there's anything we can do about that right now, but still. It's something. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll just go to the moons across the system and just start crossing them off one by one. My sensors indicate high levels of electromagnetic One's only on this planet. Our shields are not strong enough to maintain optimal hull integrity. Nice. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. I've never heard of a mood comprised entirely of quicksand before, but whatever. What is this, Mario Galaxy? <laughs> 
Yeah, Ratchet, Ratchet was in space long before Mario. <laughs> Nintendo just ripped off Insomniac. <laughs> oh, cool. Those are kind of like explosive crates, I guess. We're still out of Constructo Pistol. There we go. Hit him on the rebound. And up here. So yeah, as you can see, Moon gameplay actually returns from... Uh, oh, is this seriously our first swing shot target? Oh, hey, look! Look! An animation that isn't completely botched, like in Quest for Booty. I know I keep making fun of it. I'm sorry. It's still... It just... That was unforgivable. It didn't look that bad in, in tools. There was no excuse. Uh... Just blow him up, please. There we go. Oh my god, that's so much faster now. There we go. Oh, those actually damaged me. Whoa. That, uh, that explosive crate just changed into an ammo crate. It was interesting. Fuck. There we go. Surprised how quickly that explosive barrel actually killed me. But yeah, it's so cool how you can see like the actual environment just all up there. It's really cool. Again, they they definitely uh they definitely uh took, went a lot farther with this game with uh, as far as the brand new ideas go. It's really cool. It's almost like this is the future of the the future of the series. Like the, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. And there's the zoni. Nice mask, Ratchet. No one knew who you were until you put it on. <laughs> oh, and a bunch of bolts right here. And I'm assuming a shortcut to get back. Nice. Okay, back up to space we go. And it's seamless. It's really, really cool. Oh my god, it grazed it out on the map. Thank god. I was actually worried that it wouldn't. And I have to just memorize. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to be jumping from planet to planet and uh, seeing what's on them. Phalanx Sigma. Okay, is there anything actually of use on this planet? Enemies killed. Oh, going to the map actually just straight up shows the uh, shows the planet. That's interesting. Okay, we finally have some Constructo Pistol again, so this seems like perfect fodder for this. Man, that really knocks my health down a tick. I don't like how, uh... This is actually a complaint. This is actually something that the PS2 games did better, but when you shot, your, If I remember correctly, your... Your bullets actually f had gravity, like they would actually curve around the planet. But in this, it, they just go straight, which is a downgrade. Um, it makes guns like the pistol way worse in these situations because it actually can't aim properly. But, uh, oh well. Okay, we've got a bunch more, there we go. Okay, I gotta be careful because one well-placed explosion and I'll be dead again. <laughs> or they'll be dead. Man, I'm really running out of ammo. Uh, what am I doing? I should be using Mr. Zircon. <laughs> good, good job, buddy. You got the last one. Ah, oh, just a gold bolt. Oh well. Well, at least we got some experience. Okay. Back up to the world map. Um. Yeah, that's just really convenient how it just crosses it off. Like, we don't even have to worry about it. So yeah, I can't remember how exactly how many sectors there are in this place. Uh, in this game, rather. But, uh... I'm pretty sure there's a fair bit. Like, maybe like five, 
five or six, so uh, that's exciting. Again, this game is this game is huge. At least in comparison to the other games. Again, god tier game actually showing like when you land like oh is there something of use and sure that there actually is thank you be kind of nice if our ship had a portable uh, weapon vendor that would what that would be a nice change because the fact that I still don't have enough for uh, these constructo pistols like I'm still running out of ammo for it uh, is a little annoying but zircon will help there we go Zircon can get some much need experience. Why do I get the feeling that I'm not supposed to be on this planet right now? <laughs> well, may maybe, maybe I can. That'd be cool if Mr. Zircon could activate the bolt crank like the robots. Oh, it seriously is just that easy. Okay. I was seeing those speed lines on some of those hills, and I was like, uh, am I not supposed to be here right now, or? And yes, I will be dancing around what those things are until it is, uh, until it is, uh, necessary. Oh god. Okay, yeah, Zircon is the way to go for these guys, because they, they don't even stand a chance. Okay, uh, can I just quickly look at the map and just make sure I didn't miss anything? Looks like we're fine, yeah. Okay. That's really cool how it just lets you look at the whole map. It's, uh, or the whole uh, moon that you're on. That's really cool. Okay, and ooh, that one didn't actually get crossed off. Interesting. What does the map say about it? Incomplete. Interesting. Okay, well, keep in mind... what What's the name of that planet? Uh, Alpha. Okay. Oh, it's another one of those nefarious ships. Yeah, bring it on. Obviously, the ship combat is going to get a little bit more interesting than this, because uh, right now we're just tearing through everything. You already saw that there's like a quick select wheel and everything, and ooh, what's that? Kaboom. What does that do? Is it our missiles? What does Kaboom do? Weird. Nice. <laughs> Those things don't stand a chance while the shield is down. That's satisfying. Invulnerability? Holy crap. I don't think that's really necessary. And yeah, <laughs> no, note about space travel, you even get, um... You even get radio stations, so that's interesting. Oh, you can actually speed up by holding forward. Okay, good to know. I'm almost positive we're gonna get thrusters at some point. <laughs> I can't believe they added radio stations. It's ridiculous. Is it... Is it seriously gonna play it while we're doing the planet? God damn it. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> this isn't appropriate right now, but whatever. There we go. Well, oh, that's a big enemy. <laughs> that's a dead enemy. <gasps> no! I was hoping we'd bounce up. What is this music? <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, I gotta actually start using those explosive, uh, 
explosive canisters to actually like destroy enemies because they're actually surprisingly de this stating Ugh. there we go still out of constructor pistol I do like the constructor pistol but it's just it really runs out of ammo it really chews through it and you don't get that much so uh, maybe there are some mods that can alleviate that Wouldn't be surprised if Constructo mods are something that are rewards for some of these uh, moons that we're doing. I imagine this was an easy way for the developers to actually, like, develop levels, too. Because, like, the other Ratchet games didn't really have side content, per se, so everything had to be integrated into a planet like itself but uh with the moons like they're all separate like beasts essentially so i like they could do a lot they could like have like different levels but not necessarily have it have to tie into an actual uh planet um if you know what i mean so like this lava planet like they just were able to design it and place it in the world without having to worry about, okay, where do we fit this on which planet? Like, oh shit, 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 shit. Why did Ratchet just fall like that? Okay. Okay, we gotta kill that guy. We gotta kill that guy. Zircon, please. There we go, sweet. And yeah, we leveled up. Nice. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that actually gives us six Zoni, so I think we might have enough to uh, upgrade our ship. And it's just automatic. Okay, sweet. Thrustmaster, yes! Okay, finally, now we can actually uh, zoom through uh, zoom through these planets. There we go. That's a lot faster. Politics, relationships, observational humor. Nothing is out of bounds in a Mac McElroy production. Once again, that's the Moonlight Lounge inside the. Authority. I should actually try some of the other radio the stations too. See what see what they got. Deep Space Jams is pretty good though. I have to admit. Okay, so I wonder how many of these planets are just going to be like, oh, kill this many enemies? Because right after I said, oh yeah, they could design a bunch of cool levels. Like, oh, it's just kind of a boring enemy gauntlet. I'm assuming that the arena comes back in this game. It's been in every other Ratchet game, so I'm assuming it has to be in this one. Um, so I just wonder, like, do we really have to have this many enemies killed in uh, these certain planets? Maybe maybe this game doesn't have an arena. I don't remember. So uh, we'll see. Oh my god, we're actually out of that for once. But we have Constructor Pistol. Nice. Really close to B3 now. Stop giving me Mr. Zircons. I just want my pistol ammo. When do you ever hear that in any game? Why won't you give me pistol ammo? I don't know. So many games like the pistol is so mediocre, but not in this one. <gasps> Constructo mod. Speed of the Devil. Okay, what is this one? Uh, Beam. Uh... Sure, we can try it. Why not? Whoa. Um. Uh, does it say exactly, like, how it affects it? Chamber. Supercharge programs. Class 3 thermal layer beads. I mean, honestly, I like the blast just by looking, like, just based solely off how it looks. Like, I think the blast might be a little better, but I don't know. Was a fiery cauldron of passion and seduction. Oh, Lance, 
my heart. <laughs> oh my god, it's the soul Barbara. His a blazing inferno of romance and machismo. Oh, Janice, my desire to chop wood and race cars is overshadowed by a longing to gaze Whoa. through your eyes. What the heck is this place? But on the season finale of Lance and Janice, their romance will be tested unlike ever before. <laughs> Lance, I have something to tell you. Something that will shock the universe and change the face of Hollow Vision forever. No, it can't be. How could you? It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, still no new weapons. I guess that's just tied to uh, being on new planets. Oh, I have been seeing those. Uh, yeah, sure. Fortunately, all it takes to get the job done is a little firepower. If you destroy the irradiated asteroids, we'll happily repay you for your assistance. Uh, sure. Why the hell not? And what about you? Oh, it's playing this jazzy music again. This guy seriously has nothing to say? Weird. Okay. Sure, let's, uh... Get rid of some asteroids, why not? Oh, that was quick. Let's see what other radio stations they have. House of Sin. Do not reconfigure your tuning apparatus. New House retrowave? Let's go. We are pa -pa 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 back, broadcasting the galaxy's pa -pa 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 funkiest beats in three, two, one. I can't hear it. <laughs> oh well. Morning. Asteroid field detected. Proceed with caution. My high levels of oh, this will be. <laughs> this will be over in no time. No. Oh God! Wow, that's really instant. That's cool. Oh my god. Okay, when you're close up to a planet like that, it really is apparent how quickly the boosters send you. That's awesome. Nice, the thousand bolts just right off the bat. Holy crap, you go fast with those boosters. That's so satisfying. Oh, that looked really derpy. Do you have anything else? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Back up and let's see. Uh, I think we're almost done with this place. Oh, this music is cool. This kind of reminds me of like Bit Trip or something. Yeah, it's one kind of weird thing is that like Going Commando had like all these customization options for your ship, like what it, uh, what the guns are like, what the ship looks like, down to like what its nose looks like, what its wings look like. Um, but this game has a way bigger emphasis on like actually driving the ship, but you seemingly can't change any of it. Like all you get is just like immediate upgrades based on like zoning progress which is a little strange maybe there'll be actual ship customization later but it just seems weird how like oh yeah going commando had less ship than this but it had more customization i don't know again just index okay um i think it's just this ship out here is the only thing we're missing Oh, shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to find some sort of uh, tether or something that can uh, help help that guy, but uh, for now, that actually looks like that is it for this, uh, this area, so let's just uh, warp to the next sector.